Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell and thanks for joining me in the backyard again and in today's tip I'm going to teach you how to use live view in tripod mode on your Nikon DSLR. Now, I like to use live view in tripod mode when I'm shooting macro subjects or I'm low to the ground because the screen helps me compose my shots better when it's awkward to look through the viewfinder. But there's an added benefit of using live view in tripod mode as well and that is you can move the focus point to anywhere on on your screen on the sensor and because the sensor is doing the autofocus you can get much more accurate focus than you can with your normal AF module. So let's take a look at how you set up tripod mode on live view in your Nikon DSLR. Alright the first thing we want to do when we set up tripod mode live view is we're going to push the menu button on the back of our camera and bring up the menus and I want to go into the shooting menu. So that's the one with the little camera icon. I'm going to go into the shooting menu and we're going to go and find the item that's called live view mode. And we're going to hit the multi selector to select live view mode. And we want to make sure that it's in tripod mode. This is going to dictate the type of autofocus that you'll be able to use when you're shooting in tripod mode. So set it to tripod mode, click OK, and you're good to go. That's all you've got to do to set this up. Now let's use the camera. Now that we're ready to use live view mode, let's set it up. Depending on your camera, there's two different ways to enter live view. On some of the earlier cameras, like the original D3, the D700, and the D300, you have a little ring here where you can set your shooting modes, and one of the options will say LV. On the newer cameras, there's a dedicated live view button right here on the back of the camera. So if you push live view, it launches it into live view mode. So I've set up my little subject. In this case, it is a model insect. Let's take a look at that. There's the screen. And that red dot here, this red dot that you can see on the screen, is the focus point. So I'm going to just use the AF on button on the back of my camera and press that until that light turns green. When that marker turns green, I'm in focus. But what's really cool about using live view in tripod mode is that I can move this little dot to anywhere on the screen. So all I have to do is use the D-pad, the selector button, and just move it to anything I want. Let's say I want to put it right on the eye of my model insect here. What's more, I can even zoom in. So I can use the zoom button on the back of the camera. In this case, it's the D3S. I'll push the zoom and I'll rotate the rear command dial. And I can just zoom right in onto the eye of this insect. And now if I press the AF on button, the camera is going to focus precisely on that spot that I've chosen using the sensor in the camera. So I'm getting deadly accurate autofocus and this works just fine as long as my subject isn't moving too much and obviously you want to have your camera on the tripod. So now I can zoom out and when I'm ready to go all I need to do is fire the shutter release and that takes the picture. So if I review this, now I zoom in and you can see I'm absolutely focused right on that part of the image, the subject that I wanted to. So that is live view in tripod mode. It works fantastic as long as your camera's on a tripod and you've got a static subject. Try it for macro subjects. You can also try it for uh, focusing extremely long telephoto lenses at a distance when your subject to distance isn't going to change much, if at all. You can get really accurate autofocus this way, especially when you're doing things like using a teleconverter. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to check out more at www.luminescentphoto.com.